While the U.S. House of Representatives on Thursday night was voting to limit the president's constitutionally given war powers, the president was in Toledo, Ohio at a rally telling America and the Democrats exactly what he thought of the Democrats. It's Friday. It's going to be a good video. Oh, yeah. Consider this. When Barack Obama was president, he ordered 542 drone strikes. It resulted in 3,997 deaths. 542 of those were actual civilian targets. No one raised an eyebrow. And no one thought to convene Congress to limit this action. President Trump launches one drone strike, takes out that guy and whoever was in the car with him, and that was the only collateral damage, the car. Obama, 542 drone strikes, 542 civilians killed, that means at least one civilian died in every single drone strike. Let that sink in. Nearly 4,000 people died, killed. I didn't hear Bernie Sanders refer to Obama as an assassin. And yet, the House of Representatives, under the direction of Nancy Botox Pelosi, She's really just feeling it right now. I, she's getting pressure. Where are the articles of impeachment? And that pressure is not coming from Republicans. It's coming from the Democrats in her party, i.e. Dianne Feinstein. That said, Representative Mike Kelly from the great state of Pennsylvania stood before Congress last night to make the case of what that they were trying to do was absolutely unconstitutional. Unfortunately, it fell on deaf ears, but his message was on point, it was concise, and he delivered the goods. Representative Mike Kelly. Uh, I was sitting in my office and watching this debate, and I began to wonder who it is that we're actually debating against, or what it is that we're debating against. And I think back to the killing of Osama bin Laden, when we stood together as the United States and saying this was the right thing to do at the right time because it would save lives. The only thing we regret is that we didn't do it sooner when we had a chance to take him out. But we delayed because we weren't sure. I've gone back and read what President Obama said and he says, I made this decision on my own. Yet today we stand in the people's house and we're worried more about the loss of an election of 20, in 2020 than the loss of American lives and the continued loss of lives around the world by one of the worst terrorists of all time. And we sit here and try to pretend this charade is what we're really concerned about, is giving too much power to this president. This is a president who acts boldly. This is a president who carried out a strike that was so precise, so strategic, nothing else was hurt except the car in which that terrorist was riding in. And yet we sit here today and say, our problem in America isn't terrorists around the world. Our problem is in America is we have a president who's too damn strong. The rest of the world knows today that our enemies certainly do fear us because they know there's a deterrent in the White House. And our friends and allies know that America will always be there. We'll always be there if we say we're going to be there and we will always stand up for the values that this country has always stood for. To have this bait, debate tonight and this resolution is not about securing America or making America safer. This is about taking powers away from the President of the United States. And we can call this anything we want to say, not just this President, but any President in the future. My God, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This, the people's house, and our biggest responsibility is protecting our American citizens. And we're having this debate tonight Please do not tell me this is about taking away the authorization for military force. This is about taking away powers from the most strong expired. president we've had. Thank you, and I yield back. As I have said, as others are saying, this president really is committed into no more endless wars. 
This is not about the president having carte blanche. None of us want that. Carte blanche to be able just to, whoever ticks him off that week, declare war on. But when we are engaged in hostile activities, even when it's a nation that is not directly declared war on us or we on it, but they are involved in hostilities with us, when we have an opportunity to take down someone, can you imagine the absolute lunacy of having to convene members of Congress to fill them in on the plan and then get their permission? By the time all that happens, the target is gone. President Trump, in true form, held his very first rally of 2020 in the Buckeye State, Ohio, in Toledo, Ohio, home of Jeep. You know, Jeep. The Jeep. They're built in Toledo. And before a raucous crowd told them exactly what he thought of the Democrats, and in particular, the reason why he can't tell them anything, especially of a sensitive military nature. We got them lined up, Adam. You little pencil neck. Nine inches. He buys the smallest shirt collar you can get, and it's loose. Now, come on, Adam. We got to meet faster, Adam. We got him lined up. We got to take this guy out. We're not going to have another shot at him maybe ever again. But, but I can't make it now because I'm trying to impeach Trump. I'm trying to impeach Trump. Even though he did nothing wrong. By the way, did you see I did nothing wrong? They don't even know what the hell is going on. In fact, it's so weak. She doesn't want to put in the articles. It's so weak. They're so pathetic. They're so pathetic. So they want us to call them. Now, Schiff is a big leaker. You know, he leaks to crazy CNN. See, with a little red light on on them. Not too many people are watching CNN. But he leaks. So he'll say, you know, uh, off the record, I gotta hurry up because everyone's watching me in the hallway on my cell phone. Off the record, they've got the number one terrorist in the world, Soleimani, and they're gonna get him. They're gonna take him out in the next 10 minutes. Uh, please don't tell anybody I told you, but the, so we have, we have breaking news. President Trump, within the next 20, 25 minutes, looks to be taken out. Terrorist General Soleimani. He's going to do it. Should be happening about the next 20 minutes, 19, 18, 17. <laughs> then we get back to the battlefield. How'd you do, fellas? I don't know, sir. He disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. They want us to, they want us to tell them so that they can leak it to their friends in the corrupt media. I love this president, and I can't wait to have an opportunity in 11 months to cast a vote for him again. Just a quick Friday rant. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you are a subscriber to the channel as YouTube continues to shadow ban us. And make sure you spread this video. Go ahead, copy and paste the link above, and post it on your Facebook page. Post it on your social media outlets. Post it on the comment section of other videos that you like to watch and comment on. We need to drive traffic here. Because every day, we go up and we crest a subscription rate that the very next day, we have fallen back under again. Now, how is that possible? YouTube knows. Let's go ahead and give them a really, really bad day. You have a great weekend. We'll be back with more rants.